Rev versus Tetrix. Which one should you choose? Hi, Siddharth and Siddhant from Team Whatever 16296. Tetrix Robotics. So we got a Tetrix Robotics starter kit for the beginning of our season. It had a lot of unique parts that gave us many different things to build our robot with. It was very easy for us to build it, especially for us since we were a rookie team. Another great thing about Tetris was that it had a lot of pieces for multiple uses, which saved us a lot of money. However, the only downside was that Tetris pieces couldn't handle much weight and would bend or break under extreme pressure. Tetris is very popular with other teams, and we could ask other teams for extra parts, though. It was very easy to connect the parts together and helped us understand the basics of building a robot. Rev makes very, very durable parts, and it shows. In our robot for the 2019-2020 season, we used Rev extrusions, which are is the way you make Rev chassis. That chassis held up lots of weight, and it, uh, pro it supported our drivetrain system. One downside to Rev would be the fact that uh, some parts, such as the extrusions, uh, you need heavy-duty machinery to cut it, and other parts as well. And the fact that the pre-made kits that they have, the robot that comes out of the kit is pretty basic, and they only have like one or two kits. So that's uh, th th those are some downsides. But one thing that most everyone that that most everyone can agree on is that they have very very good electronics such as the control hub, which is used to control all your server servos, your DC motors, uh, all your electronic components. Uh, they also have really good servos, sensors, and motors. So at the beginning of our season, we got the Tetrix Robotics Starter Kit, and it took some time to learn on how to build it, but we got the hang of it. We had built a very simple pushbot, and it was very effective. And because of that, we had gotten one of the most points in our two league qualifiers. As the season went on, we realized a simple pushbot wouldn't take us to regionals or maybe even worlds. That So we talked with FTC team 6832 Iron Rain uh, for suggestions, and we eventually settled on Rev. That's when we started to make our robot. Near the end of our FTC season, we had successfully built a robot from scratch using Rev parts. Since we had gotten lots of experience building the Tetrix bot, then building the new robot was way easier. Our robot, simply put, could do a lot of tasks such as stacking blocks, pulling the foundation, and even pushing our blocks. Because of our innovative design, we were the top contenders for many Best Robot Design Awards. In the end, we chose Rev because it fit and handled our fast-paced robot and game strategy. But the experience with Tetrix in the off-season really helped us build the robot we had at the end. So if you're a rookie team, we, we would suggest buying a Tetrix robot kit in the off-season and just play around with it or make the robot. Just make sure that you get building knowledge from that so then it's easier for you to build an actual uh better better robot for the game and yeah that's all see ya